choosing a country to visit within Africa can be quite confusing, even for Africans, especially considering the fact that every place has something unique to offer. However, for most, the thought of visiting Africa alone really comes with one of the most searched questions on Google. Is Kenya safe? Is Cameroon safe? Is Cameroon safe? Is, Cameroon safe? Is, Cameroon safe? Is, Ghana safe? is Africa safe? Sorry to break it to you, but Africa isn't actually what the rest of the world think it is. It is one of the safest places you can be. Purely based on the Global Peace Index of 2021, here are the 10 most safest countries in Africa. Bro. Number 10, The Gambia. Hello and welcome to Gambia. Smiling of Africa. <laughs> Tourism in the Republic of Gambia is booming and it is easy to understand why. The Gambia is known for its hospitality, sunny beaches and diverse wildlife. We call them ball patterns <laughs> because if they are scared, they turn themselves into a ball. Inexpensive safari tours give travelers a unique opportunity to observe wild animals in their natural habitats. The world-renowned Gotu Beach is the perfect place to chill. You got to visit Gambia to have a true taste of African hospitality. Itodo. Itodo. That means what's your name? So Itodo. Tida. The only threat here is mostly pickpocketing, which is a thing you'll find in almost every other part of the world. So, common sense will save you a lot of trouble. Number 9. Liberia Liberia offers travelers the chance to experience West Africa's vibrant culture firsthand. The bustling capital city of Morovia is home to dozens of markets where artisans sell their finest handcrafted wares. And the Liberia National Museum provides insight into the history of Africa's oldest republic. Surfers from all around the world flock to Liberia's palm tree-lined beaches to catch the perfect wave. Surfing here is a great deal. Visiting Liberia can be a safe and a memorable experience. Wow. One for five dollars. Three for ten dollars. Three. <laughs> there are always rigs traveling to any other part of the world, and Liberia can't be left out. Thus, the Liberian authorities have done a lot to maintain law and order in the country. Number eight, Namibia. Namibia is probably the safest African country you can live in right now, but you got to use common sense. People in Namibia are very friendly to all races and tourists here are always welcome. The country is rather very peaceful. Namibia is for the most part a safe country to visit. The fact that Namibia makes the list as a safe country for experts never makes it a crime-free country. The capital city suffers from crime every once in a while, so mind your business and don't go flashing your valuables in public and you'll be fine. Number 7. Senegal Senegal is well known for being one of the safest countries in West Africa. From relatively low levels of crime and disease to a population renowned for being generous hosts, Senegal tends to be a safe, hassle-free travel destination. Akan's country is for the most part safer than most African countries. And while visitors, especially female solo travelers, should take the necessary precautions when they're traveling alone, visiting this country alone shouldn't present any big problems. The locals are very friendly, and robberies and violent crime against tourists here is pretty uncommon. Number 6. Madagascar Madagascar was made popular by the animated film of the same name. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to. But the country is more than just an animated movie. As the biggest island in the Indian Ocean, Madagascar is famous for its unique wildlife and biodiversity, with breathtaking views of nature, wide sand beaches, stunning rainforests, and delicious local food. This port offers an unforgettable once-in-a-lifetime experience. You'll be overwhelmed by the kindness and friendliness of the Malagasy people. While most people who do visit the place have a trouble-free trip, Madagascar isn't completely safe, as the Disney film Madagascar will make you think. Yes, it is a perfect holiday spot. This place is paradise. Absolutely. And yes, the food here is amazing. 
Mmm, yummy! But it's highly recommended you only travel the island with a tour company or hire a guide to take you around. Number five, Tanzania. Jumbo, welcome to Tanzania. Tanzania is the hotspot for African safari at the moment, beating South Africa to a pulp. The country offers the most diverse experiences in Africa. From safaris in the Serengeti to treks in the Kilimanjaro Mountains, just to mention a few. Tanzania has it all and traveling to the country has been made simple due to policy initiatives by the government. When it comes to safety, Tanzania is generally considered safe. The country has had over 2 million tourists visiting the country in 2019 alone. That was before Corona took over and tourists have reported no crime at all. Number 4. Sierra Leone As per the government of the UK, most trips to Sierra Leone are relatively risk-free. However, there have been few instances of tourists being robbed. Of course, the chances of that happening to you is at 0.001%. If you visit the country for the first time, avoid walking after 10 p.m. and ensure you are always traveling in groups. Traveling with a local is an added safety measure. Number 3. Rwanda Skip, And I'm Dan And today we are in... Rwanda. Rwanda is one of the safest destinations in Africa. I know you're tired of hearing me say this over and over again, but that's the truth. Particularly for solo travelers, Rwanda is the perfect country. Crime in Rwanda is very low. Sometimes visitors experience petty crimes. You do not do things in Rwanda you wouldn't do back at your home country. Common sense attitude will save you from a multitude of problems. Number 2. Swaziland um. Swaziland has a very low population and very very safe. It has just close to 2 million people. The people here are very friendly and welcoming. If you're looking for the perfect place to stay, Summerfield Botanical Garden or Modern Inn is a place. These are places you will be embraced by the natural beauty of Swaziland. There are many spots that give you the opportunity to soak up the atmosphere, culture and the positive vibes of the country. Men beware, it's easy to fall in love with Iswatini girls. Number one, Ghana. So Ghana was literally one of the best trips I've ever taken in my entire life. And I just felt so at peace in Ghana. Ghana is currently number 44 on the Global Peace Index. This is a huge indicator of how safe the country is and how modern and forward-looking the country is. If it is your first ever trip to Africa, I will suggest you visit Ghana first to get an experience of how great African cities and societies function. They say Ghana is Africa for beginners and that is true. Once you have visited Ghana, it will serve the precedent of what you can expect when you visit other African countries. Get your common sense ready because you might need it in Accra or Kumasi. Thank you. Mm. Oh. Which African country would you love to visit? I mean, really love to visit? Leave us a comment down there. I'm your host Murphy and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. I'm your host Murphy. As usual, I'm your host Murphy and I'll catch you in the next video. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can oh, be the... And, and. Okay. <laughs>